so amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Pokerios and Pokeramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone that's been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. All righty, folks and folk I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel. Double check to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you're watching this. Make sure you do exactly what that intro told you to do as far as checking out my channel. I shouldn't even have to tell y'all that anymore. But anyway, this song right here is requested by patron Debbie B, who says, Happy Father's Day. Sis, appreciate that and God bless you for that. She says, we lived in a tiny Italian city back in 1977, which only had four American families. Ten American soldiers lived on the tiny base outside the city. With so few Americans, we had many parties. I met Paco at one of these parties, her husband, y'all. He was always the DJ and my dad was... My dad was his first sergeant, which made life for us difficult at times. Mm -hmm, trying to sneak around and do the oochie coochie. No, I'm just messing. Y'all did. No, I'm <laughs> Says, this song always packed the dance floor. We always have music playing in our home, much more now than ever because music heals. Heat wave, the groove line, 1977. And someone, Wendy Pritchard, responded and said, great pick. I would definitely have you and Paco be my DJ anytime is what Wendy said. And again, Debbie also, because I know, you know, I know what's going on. She wishes to thank everybody. Her and Paco want to thank all of you guys for your prayers. She thank you for your prayers. Good news came back. Just want to let y'all know that. So I myself appreciate all of you guys who left comments in here praying for Debbie and Paco. No matter what, I'm the type of person where, you know, for example, there was a time whenever I was a treating clinician, especially with my degree, one of my degrees in therapy, that I would tell somebody whenever we want to send your patient, whenever we want to send a patient home, I don't want them just at the level they were before they came to rehab. I want them better than they were when they returned home. So in other words, let's just keep on praying. We don't want Paco to get back to where he was. We want Paco to be better than what he was. You don't need to know no details or anything like that. Just know that he's definitely better, but we want him to be way better than that. So keep on praying that he gets a double dose and he's way better than where he is. We don't want him back to where he was. We want him better. Okay. So pray for that folks. All right. With that being said, let me go ahead and roll right into it. And here we go.
let me. This might sound weird to y'all. That's not to bring nothing crazy to this, but I absolutely love the unity you see in here. See the togetherness in there. White and black people just jamming together, just playing this funky groove, just having a good time, man. That is absolutely awesome. I'm pretty sure that had a lot to do with like what was going on in y'all time, uh, Debbie and Paco. I mean, this right here, white people, black people playing music together, dancing together. I'm pretty sure just the imagery of that is showing that just made y'all just feel good about just going to like where you were. Y'all over in an Italian town. And just hitting it off, I'm pretty sure, Debbie, you might not have mentioned this in the comments, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that look like you and Paco that was there and everybody just was jamming, having a good time and all that. Apparently, you and Paco had a really good time since y'all still together and you didn't want the daddy to know about it. No. But no, yeah, man, of course, this was groovy, man. They were having a phenomenal time with them bell bottoms on and putting that footwork, man, all that bouncing up and down and all that. Y'all know this has such a crazy, funky groove to it. And that's what I love about it. The bass line to a lot of music back then and there had a lot of freaking backbone to the music. It literally was the feeling that gave you the feel of going to get out there on a dance floor because of how funky the freaking bass was. Man, they were killing it in this, man. And definitely, this is the type of song to where I'm almost positive. When this song came on, everybody ran out there down the dance floor just to have a good time and dance, man. I mean, this would be something that they seem like they can just go on forever with this song right here. I'm telling you, that's why they didn't have a high obesity rate back in those days. <laughs> too much moving and dancing and grooving going on to be gaining weight there, boy. Man, and we smoking too, Debbie. I know you talking on that. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You probably did, though. All them, you all know what they say about the quiet ones, and Debbie is a quiet one. So mm, if we, she was somebody named Paco, and Paco sound like a wild one, then. No, I'm just playing, y'all. Just playing. Anyway. Really, really good pick right there, sis. I know that you always come in with some crazy, groovy stuff, man. You always give me something that I can sit there and say, I'm going to be playing it on that right there. I'm going to be picking that up. Love it, man. Absolutely love it. Everybody else, what did you think of the song? Where did you first hear this song at? What was going on in your life while this song was playing? Were you out there grooving on the dance floor like Debbie and Paco was with y'all afros and bell bottoms? I want to hear about it, especially from my older subs. Let me know what y'all were doing during this time. All right? Preach Deacon. I'm Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And I pray that every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious, it does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it, keep on supporting it, and God bless you all.